Puppy on the Axe is position 5 Axe again, you know, Eternal Envy style, we'll see how it goes in the lane, we're gonna get that, but for now, look at this Zion in the bottom lane, Sartre going up, get some Paparazzi as well, just pressuring each way, remember mid one, has no armor, but Zai bottom lane gets taken out, the first blood goes, I like that Yapsaur is reframing from taking a farm from Zai. hello, top lane, still fighting, actually, Ori made a rotation in, they're gonna be spinning an Axe, did they get it, the Ruby Staff, no, Takes Axe out for 26 seconds for the man. But he's going to walk back on in, trying to go for Yang, but they're going to actually man up fight. They're going to show the sentry. The track goes down on Yang. He's just got level 6 on the side. They're going to actually turn away. They want to fight as Yang's coming in with the ice shots. Going back on mid one. Mid one silence, but Puppy's there as well. Going to roll right onto mid one day. Still with the DD to fight, but the call's going to come in from Puppy. It's not on the two yet. Nice little sun coming out, but the eclipse is going to mean that Puppy is dead. He's trying to drag away Paparazzi, but he loses his own life already. He does save mid one. But the first rotation with Zai's level 6, didn't get them a kill. Yeah, it's going to get him a few tracks though, and the Shuriken's just bouncing between them. Maybe they're going to lose Zai with the Reaper side. 40 seconds on the sideline for him, and now they're ready to push some towers, people. The puppy getting chased down by Fade. Ori going to be there with him too. There's no Reaper, but they won't even need it. The man's got no weak speed, no culling blade, just no more in. Punch him to death, and he should be gone. Take it out by Yang on that side. Jackson coming out there on one side, mid one's actually going to get silenced up, they're going to actually get the primal split as well. More damage coming in, more suns coming on, mid one, they need to kill him up, but the town needs to pull him back on everybody else, suns him up, mid one just trying to run behind his but he's going to get sun up again by the Bruce split. And there we go, Yang with a double kill. Taking out mid one, taking out Puppy, Puppy is backed over, Yak's still going to get sun up again, they're going to get the Wind Panda under the tower range. And the tracks. maybe they don't want to get something done with the tracks. what if, was he stolen? He's stolen from the clap. No extra damage from anyone yet, from the clap, from the slap. On the clap. Not. But the pressure may be in the bottom. No, they're going to cancel. They want to fight on top. Mid one's here as well. Going to get the Wukong command. Just going to try for Paparazzi. They've got the track on them. Going to pick them up and take them out straight instantly. But the Sobel save coming in from Fade. The Global Silence coming on out. Just saves Paparazzi there. But Puppy on the other side trying to get the Culling Blade out. Not going to find there. But they do get the damage. Yeah, so it's still on the Losing Beam. Takes him out. They can see him. Yeah, Zai. Coming around, two gonna be careful about the sentry. They're seeing him, dust comes in, they've gonna actually snowball right on in. He might even try and get some tracks, I don't think he can. Reaper Sniper just takes him out, he's gone. Bounty Hunter, not great. Yay, yeah, bottom actually gonna find mid one as well. Last word coming out, so we can't actually jump and take it, can damage him. They don't even need a TP in Ori. Well, it's the fact that he's got the man to complete already, but now he's open for the pound again. Wukong to man, gonna pick up the fade, roll back him. So we're gonna save him for a couple more seconds, but they're gonna go for mid one. This time it's about to strike, Yang. Actually blinks on in, actually gonna get sun up, he's gone. Nice little steal coming out from Yapso. But now they might phone more. Fade, actually one more last hit away there. Yeah, go, he's gone. Stop the man from sundering, but now the man's got two lives. They gotta kill this guy twice. Level 17, top net worth. Puppy actually just moving on forward, trying to find somebody. He might actually get a call on the Ori here. We'll see him, doesn't go for it, but Fade jumps on him, punch him in the air, symbol as well, the call is just going to miss, but he gets there, Charm, please, Luna, rips him apart, one person down, now actually Fade going to get turned apart by the illusion, he's gone himself! They knew Brew was going down, Bob, but right now they're just going to fight, they're going to go for Paparazzi, he's being surrounded upon by everybody, but they've got reinforcements, there's double damage onto Paparazzi, he can fight this, so I'm going to be running away, we're going to command as well, but they're going to actually just fight it up. They haven't lost anybody yet. Zai's already dead on one side. Yapsel down on the other. But they're going to be ripping apart. Fade. Or he's still getting full HP. He's going to get Primal split up on. On to Yang. Spin up Nisha by himself. A Paparazzi is going to be lost by Puppy. And mid one just smashes DY into the ground. Puppy's just going to be trying to take this fight against Necrophos. So he's going to be slowly ripping you apart. Whip your death bosses. But the Snowball saves his life. Yang's back in his form. And Terrorblade still being spun up. Being surrounded by all his team. He can't get the damage in yet, but now he's going to be ripping it by Yang, but Death Pulse keeps alive a little longer. Mid one trying to walk away here, but Metamorphosis is coming out. The Ghost Shout as well. Death Pulse coming back for mid one. He does have the one charge, keeps him at full HP with Bounder Strike. He's going to go straight on to Ori. Maybe try and save him, but the Snowball on to mid one. going to hold him back, but they get mid one, but they lose Ori for their troubles. But Paparazzi going to get the reflection now. Does he get hit by Nisha? But Nisha's just going to rip apart the sound. Now Puppy going to jump on in, doesn't actually get. Paparazzi, yeah, but mid one's in trees. Gonna get Luke on command on the back line. Yang's gonna come on. The global silence does come out. They're gonna be trying to rip apart side before it goes in vids again. But an Ori on the other side, get with Ghost Shroud. He does get picked up and Telkinese, but not taking any physical damage yet. They've got the wind pen spinning up Nisha in the air, but the Luke on command not doing any damage. So they're just gonna back out of this and maybe go on in. Nisha running on back on the other side. They've got Paparazzi just trying to fight mid one, but now the Luke is going on out. Just gonna fight him down, get the urn. He can't jump away from this. Just being surrounded by everybody else, and they've lost him as well. Three people going down so far. And now he's blinking on forward. Nisha's trying to run. The man's still got an Aegis, and now he's got a regen rune. Just keep on farming it up, but actually, 
They might find mid one. Nice four stuff comes on through. Stunts up mid one. The global silence comes down. The reaper side comes on down. They've taken him out. Fade with one kill in the mid one. But Nisha with the BKB just jumping in with the metamorphs. It's doing all the damage he can. Fade running on back. He is tracked up. Zai's gonna come in, but gets stunned up. Can't actually get the shuriken off, and they've actually already cured off that. Drack there on the backside. Puppy will be taken down by the Primal Split there. Nisha by himself too. And they've already got the Eclipse. They do get Sunder off, but it's a little bit early. They've got the man to get more illusion, so they're actually just moving the beams around. And actually, Par Parazzi gets taken down by the Reflection. But Nisha goes down himself. And now they're running back. There might be a team wipe here. Yasuo's going to go down. Zai's the only survivor. He's just running back. He's trying to get in Viz, but he's got some darts on him. It's still got time. They have to be able to take him out though, and they can. Team wipe on to Secret VG. He's going to be careful. There's a surprise waiting for him. Puppy's coming on in. Zai as well. They've got the tracks coming down. But there you go. Shuriken started. Here comes the big fight. Nisha wants a big reflection, but Puppy's not going to call anybody. He jumps in three, finds nothing. But now Yang jumps on in, gets a split off. Now he's going to try and find fight. They've got the curse on Puppy. It's on down. Global Science as well. Just a bunch of mounts. It's a whole bunch of stuff used for Puppy. But on the backside, no one else is initiated yet. But they've got the Wukong's command. They're going to be spinning up Nisha. So it's just mid one hiding in the troops. The BKB focus. And they just walk away. Why even fight the same lose Yasuo on one side just trying to fight, but Nisha's weakening on in. He's trying to get some more damage coming out of the BKB's room and pop, but Ori just walking away from this. Fade's gonna come in, punch up Nisha in the air, try and save up Ori, but Ori gets shuriken and maybe goes inside, but the snowball. The save! They're just gonna go back in, try and take down Nisha. They've got the eclipse coming out, the reaper side from Nisha takes him out, they're gonna lose mid one as well. And now, four people go down, everybody's alive. Zai's just walking away out of damage. The shards are gonna miss, but Zai's just running, trying to stay alive. Yang coming on and he's gonna leave a track, but they're gonna leave a corpse. Zai in the trees. He's still alive. They didn't get him. Just ripping apart everything. There you go, you racks. Maybe. Are they actually considering going for tier 4? Yeah, Yang's moving forward. They want to end this. VG. They're not giving any time for Secret to respond. Secret comes in, gets a track, but your your towers are going down. They're gonna spin up axe, no calls. Nothing. Ori just gonna be zoning out, they're gonna be mid one jumping on in. BKB already pop. D Rise is walking away, he's tracked up, he's dead. But the big kill's coming on in. The glitch coming out, they've only got 250 HP left, and Paparazzi just going for it. They can't stop him, that's game. GG's called. And VG take game one. Zeus. Still in the pool, but hello, ladies and gentlemen, we've got game two. So Faye just gonna be chasing down Puppy. Puppy's getting pretty low. Ori actually gets blink first and actually gonna be blocking off Puppy, but Puppy's in a tree with Thunder Slap coming on out. But the all comes through and they get first blood onto Ori. He TP's back in mid lane for the greatest start he's ever had. They've got level two on DY, just gonna chase him down. They don't have a Sullen Yapsaw yet, they just have anti armor, but they're zoning everybody back. And more damage on DY, they do get the leap on in, they get Sun, Magic Missile, the level two on Yapsaw, that's a free kill onto Silencer there. Right, damage coming out top. So put him lane, we're actually gonna get a rotation coming in. Ori actually TP'd in the bottom lane, gonna go try for Nisha with nice little shadow strike on for it. Slowing him down with damage coming out. The silence is a little bit off the mark, but they do get him anyway. Nice vision's gonna see if anybody runs away, but Yaps will still on the trees. The wave of terror does show himself. And now they're gonna move on forward. They've seen him. They've scouted him out. Damage coming out. They're gonna start up DY and now fades on the other side with the firebirds. Just gonna melt him down, block him out, and he's dead as well. Killing spree onto VG, onto Paparazzi. These skills. He just keeps on doing that damage, but it's not enough. Just chipping away at the tower. Just trying to pressure him. They have given a free lane to... Whoa. I was going to say mid one, but mid one's dead. Zai just actually going to get Dream Call down. Same with Yapsil, but they're bringing in Puppy as well. Not on the six yet, but the nice Starfall comes on in. Yang pretty low. They can't get that kill. The slow attack speed coming out from the Fiery Burns. But I don't even lose Puppy as well. But Nisha on the other side actually going to be Yang. They silence him up, but it doesn't even matter. Puppy's still alive, so he's getting burned down, but we'll find DY. DY's getting hit by the tower, should be dead there. He's lost his intel, but Nisha coming in to clean the kills. He's got four of them. But Zai, if a good arrow goes straight there, could find DY, but it's actually going to miss Yang. They're going to move on forward, but he's going to find this friend. Dream Call onto two, actually going to get the global silence coming on out. Silencing up Yaps, all they need damage coming out. Nice scream of pain. Sonic Wave coming on out, gets the kills, and they're actually going to try and take everybody else out. Mid one with the old comes out, they get DY, they get actually Ori as well, and Yang on the other side does get taken out by mid one too. Paparazzi's gonna get caught, but he takes it up, they're gonna amp up the damage a little bit, Sun with bit of control, they've got the split from Puppy. They're just gonna spin him up, take away the haste rune, silence him up, and take away that Sunder, and he's gone, triple kill for mid one, four people going down onto VG, and that's just what Secret needed. Yang is waiting on, waiting to go on in. 
Blinks on it, they just almost burst down Nisha. But nice, he also comes out. They do get Sonic Wave coming out, but Blade Mail as well means he can't fight him. But they're actually going to be taking down Nisha. Nice, Scream of Pain coming out. They're going to get some dust as well from DY and actually get the last word on to Zai. They don't get DY, but Zai's going to be TPing out. He's silenced out, but he's taken out instantly from Ori. As long as that split is up, but right now. The fight from VG, they come on in, they silence up through, gonna get split on the Dream Core, on the two, but they get the silence. It's gonna land on the Ori this time, they get the rupture as well, the Blade Mail as well, just gonna hit down Nisha, but Nisha will get the kill. But DY, gonna get ripped apart by Bloodseeker, taken out now, Fade needs to run away, he doesn't have another fight, and yes he can, he can get away, he needs to be able to use it, he flies forward, but Nisha could be trying to find him, he gets the Yule Step, he gets the silence, and that is Fade dead. Doesn't matter how many birds you throw on the Bloodseeker, but they get four people, Yang dead as well, and Puppy's already back. Well, here you go, Nisha coming on through, they're actually gonna fight Ori, but he dodges the stun. Perfect use, the split's already come out, he needs to find something from this, because they use the split early, Paparazzi blinks away, they just moving away, the rupture. Not even there, even Puck's movement, they're going to spin him up, but they can't actually re-engage on him, and on the other side, they're moving back on him, Paparazzi coming down, Fade as well, even DY, but Yapsaw, they're going to get to Zeus all coming out, they want to fight this somehow, Puppy doesn't have the split anymore, but Paparazzi blinks on him, going to actually try and take them Yapsaw from the start. He's got the BKB, Pop the egg's actually going on, they need to track that egg, but nobody's actually working on it, Nisha's actually going to try and actually break that egg. It's going down, they get one kill with a Dream Call on the two. Actually takes it down Nisha, but he does have the Aegis. He's going to get a second life from Puppy. Just getting ripped apart, but he's actually just saving time. So Nisha can do more damage, but the Thunder instantly, as soon as he spawns, just gets taken out by Ori. And now Zai just gets Sonic Wave to death. All that net worth going back down to BG. We can see the XP going straight down. Up to Secret as well. He's still got it, but that's what the heroes do. Here we go. Ori gonna get jumped upon. Doesn't get silenced. He does blink away. No extra rupture coming in, but mid one wants to seal this deal. 30 seconds away from another old. He needs more lightning bolt damage. They have found him again. He just blinks away into the trees. He doesn't get away, but on the backside, Paparazzi gets Yapsaw, and now they get Ori on the other. Oh, that was a real awkward way of doing that camera work. They're still fighting though. They get the rupture off on Paparazzi. He does get the Sunder off and the BKB from the East. He's just going to get wailed upon by Paparazzi. He's slowly taking more and more damage. Has to stay away. They're going to spin up. Fade in the air, but they get the Sunder from onto Ori. Teammate Sunder, but Paparazzi goes down as long as the BKB goes off. But the Sonic Wave on the other side does get damaged, but the egg comes out. They're just going to break down the egg. But Yang on the other side gets the Sunder and gets the kill onto Nisha. They do take down Fade, but now Puppy trying to take Ori. They're going to actually hex up mid one on this Zeus. But now he's got the magical damage and they take him out himself. That was a buyback from Ori. Probably still not going blink though, that's interesting. Oh, Yang gonna be found by Puck, he doesn't actually orb on him, but they're gonna find him with the sheep suit. Hex him up, but they do get the Nimbus coming on in. The arrow comes on through, does miss everybody again, but it's got back in Ori into the old. They got a rough. Oh my god! He rips all the blood out of him. But now on the other side, they're actually going to keep on fighting. They've got the Dream Corner, Zai, Zai's BKB, but it's actually going to go on through and take out Zai. He's actually going to be signed up on the other side. Nisha's going to be held in place too. Just taking more damage, but he needs to get out of there. The vision from BG is just going to be able to find him though, but the Aegis is on Nisha. He's going to be trying to rip down Sansa, but they don't even get him. But Zeus on the other side, mid one's doing more damage on to Vaparazzi. Vaparazzi needs to run. They've got to get the sun onto him. They need one more burst coming out, and they get it. Nimbus comes out, and on the other side, Fade as well. Just getting ripped apart by Nisha. Doesn't get a kill yet, but comes on back in just to finish off what they started. But now Fade Yang as well, just trying to get on back. There's no buyback on Paparazzi. There's no buyback on Ori. Puppy waiting to use his split again. Just trying to find someone a bit late. Ori, Nimbus comes out. You'll step the same for Just going to try and hold him in place and live more stunned up again. But maybe the silence is actually going to last. What an arrow! Holds him in place. He's dead. 78 seconds. He's got no way back in the reflection. Going to be running out. And maybe you can go high ground now. Terrorblade did go for the talent though. So it's gonna be constant reflections. But then again, I think the Secret are fine with this. Because they don't have to deal with Queen of Pain. Backdoor protection going down. They're gonna use the Earth Pen to help out take this building down. Look at the chunk being taken out. Reflection comes down, they take down all the illusions. We're gonna be spinning up. Paparazzi in the air. Sun him up, sun him up, swap him in. He's dead instantly. They do have a buyback on Ori now. They do have a buyback on Paparazzi, but your base is getting ripped apart. Buyback comes in for Paparazzi. Ori is still holding his. Not yet, but they do break the Dream Coil onto three and just ripping everybody apart on the secret. Nisha's going down. He also have to save his life. They've lost Yapsil. They've lost Zai. Now they're going to lose y Nisha, who's running through to Nimbus and might even survive this. He's taken tower shots. One, two, and the three. Not enough damage yet. And they could TP in here. Fade's going to find him. He goes into the tree. Might try and deny himself, but he's just going to get burnt on down. And he takes his own life. 
70 second cooldown on the Moonlight Shadow Hallow, we can talk about this later. After the smoke breaks and they jump on in, they're actually going to find and hex up and take down our friend Bloods. So you can just melt him down. Zai's actually going to be trying to fight off everybody else, but he's going to be great for fun. Eat stone cheese for us to reach out. They're already taking out Fade on one side now. Yaps is going into the other. They're going to Yule Step drop mid one. He does have the this. actually going to be popping down to get a reflection. With the Refresher Orb, gets another reflection. Just rips apart mid one. Who binds back instantly? They don't want to keep on fighting. Ori's actually going to get caught out. Nisha's already back in this fight. They're actually going to find out Vaporati on one side. The man's already bought back before, so this is going to be a big death. D.Y. on the other side can't actually save his life. They're actually going to get caught out as well. Yule Scepter on him. There's four people going down. Yang can't even defend. There's just four people going down. One buyback. And GG is called on VG Secret. Take game two. Of this best of two.